All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my journey to Japan vlog. I know in uh, my recent vlog I told you guys I was going out to uh, Canada, but uh, I have some good news and some bad news about that. So I missed my flight, basically and uh, had to rebook, but the good news is we're going to be going out to London instead. So I've never been to London before, so that's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, also, I won't have to worry about booking a hotel or any of that stuff, because they're all late night flights, or early morning flights, depending on your perspective. Yeah, just sitting here, waiting for the flight to take off, boarding in about half hour or so. Sitting here waiting for that flight here in uh, the Raleigh Airport here in North Carolina. It's been crazy. It's been the hottest minutes since I was last on a, on a flight. So probably about four years. We'll go ahead and uh, see you guys in London. So yeah guys, here we are in London, England. And uh, just about this cloudy outside actually, so you're not really missing much. But yeah, uh, landed about an hour or so ago, about six hours of flying, so not too bad, all things considered. I used to fly out to San Diego in about five hours, so eh, six is what I was. But uh, yeah, gonna go from here in London to uh, Haneda Airport in Tokyo, Japan. So that's gonna be about 11 hours to some change, so that's gonna be challenging. Uh, it's definitely been a while since I've gone on a long, long flight like this, but uh, the good thing about uh, how this whole rebooking thing all worked out was uh, I didn't have to worry about uh, finding a place to sleep while I waited for my next flight. I just slept on the flight over. But yeah, it's, it's actually been really fun out here. I didn't think it would be this much fun doing a lot of people watching and stuff. I don't know, it's just something I find funny. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be heading out on our flight here in about an hour or so, so I'm just going to sit back, relax, and uh, chill out until then. So yeah. See y'all in Tokyo, Japan, very soon. Well, soon in this vlog, thanks to the power of editing. But uh, for me, it'll be 11 hours and some change, so uh, yeah. <laughs> See you there. All right, good morning from Tokyo, Japan. So yeah, we out here, um, staying here at the uh, Nakano guest house here in Nakano. And uh, right now I got a lovely view of the Shinjuku skyline here at the tippy top. And uh, this is what I get to see every morning. So yeah guys, I just got my first full night's sleep here in Tokyo. I can say that coming to Japan is definitely the right choice. Especially near the end there, I was just debating on if I really should like maybe wait another semester, or save up a little more, do this, do that. But really, at the end of the day, you know, you get this freaking view. You can wake up to this view every morning for uh, not a whole lot of money. I'm actually going to be doing a video talking more about the guest house later. Right now I just want to talk about just the whole experience of, of coming back to Japan for me. Now, as you guys know, I've been wanting to do this for uh, over four years. When I was living in Japan the first time around at Yokosuka, even though I wanted to get out of the Navy, I didn't want to leave Japan. But at the time I didn't know of any way for me to, to stay out here. And it wasn't until many years later that I found out that you could use the GI Bill to study out here in Tokyo. And here I am, man. We out here. It's a dream come true. And I definitely want to take you guys along with me on this journey in Japan for, uh, for Andy Japandi. And, uh, you know, talk about different aspects of Japan, just with different life in Japan. You know, and show you that there's more than one way to, uh, to live out here. And uh, even if you say to yourself, well, I don't have a whole lot of money, or, you know, there's no way Japan's gonna happen for me, or this, that, and the other. You know, if anything, show you my videos to show you that, you know, there is a way to achieve your dreams. And if coming to Japan is usually your dream, then uh, there's definitely ways to, uh, to get out here. And I also want to talk with some people who have uh, come to Japan through other means as well, and uh, give you guys a broader perspective on things and uh, I just can't wait to show you guys all that. And I'm shaking for the excitement and also it's really fucking cold out here. <laughs> so sorry if I'm slurring my words, but I'm just, uh, it just, you know, like I said, I just, I just didn't know 
if coming to Japan at this time was the right decision. You know, because I just worried about having enough money to survive until the GI Bill started kicking in. And I still worry about that, not gonna lie. But, you know, when, once I arrived and once I got on the train for the first time in over four years, it just, it felt like everything just fell into place. It's almost like I never left. You know, I just, like everything just snapped into place for me. I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's a lot different than the, uh, the first time I arrived in Japan, so I, I definitely know more of what to expect out here. But that being said, there's also a lot of areas for improvement for myself as well. Uh, most notably, learning more Japanese because um, living here at the guest house, there's a lot of people here who speak really good Japanese, and uh, I'm still pretty dang rusty. You know, there's not a whole lot of opportunities to uh, talk with a real live Japanese person out in Michigan, Ohio, or uh, North Carolina. So I uh, definitely got to brush up on my Nihongo desu yo. Ne? It's uh, one of my main goals for, uh, for living out here. This video, I guess this will be my first Andy Japandi video in over four years. Oh my gosh. Um, I wish I would have had more footage of airports and stuff like that on my way here and then of the train and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, I was just so jet lagged. I couldn't even think straight. I was lugging all of my luggage and stuff across Tokyo just to get to this, this spot. Got to the point where it like really tore my shoulders up really bad. When I went to go take a shower, I was like, eat. <laughs> Looked like ground up hamburger meat. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it was all worth it. Persistence pays off. And uh, I just wanna thank you guys for sticking with me through this long and crazy journey back to Japan. <laughs> and uh, be on the lookout for some more videos. And uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.